A few days ago, I took this picture with my iPhone. Usually iPhone pictures are 12 megapixel, but I managed to convert it from 12 all the way up to infinity. So you can zoom in as much as you like and it would never get blurred. You would see more and more detail no matter how far you go. I don't think it's ever been done before. And I want to explore with you other images like images of space and moss and plants uh, and see what happened when we zoom into them infinitely. And hopefully it's gonna be interesting. But there was a problem. I wanted to rely on upscaling models that previously are designed to add resolution to images, but those were the results. And even though AIs have been upscaling images for a long time, they are not meant or trained to do it repeatedly. And even after trying to fine tune the models to do what I needed, it still was only partially successful. I needed more control on how the generation happened. To build everything, I used a software called Comfy UI that allows you to use those nodes to manipulate images and AI models to create a very, very fine-tuned result. I've found a few tweaks that really made the result a whole lot better. The first one is to sharpen the image before the model. The second is to use a large language model to generate for each image a very detailed description as a self-prompt to generate more details and a lot of experimentation to get those values. And it worked. Now the only question is what should we zoom into? And given that memes are a great benchmark, I present to you Disaster Girl in Infinite Resolution. And like other AI generators, nightmares are included. Then I wanted to zoom into something that would never end, I would never hit a wall. And I think space is a great thing to try. So I use this image of the Milky Way over a field. And I really like how it did these gas nebulas. It really looks like something pictured in space. When zooming in farther, we can see that nothing breaks. It just keeps to add detail in a way that is consistent with the original image which I think is pretty amazing. Um, unfortunately, space is very self-similar. So after this point, if I just continue to zoom in, it would just look the same until my computer crashes, um, which it was about this point. Then I wanted to test it with a picture I took and you already seen it in the beginning. The results were pretty amazing. Since I learned about them, fractals always amazed me because they are generated with a very simple mathematical equation, but you can zoom in infinitely and there will always be more detail. And I'm curious to see what would happen if I'll use the AI model to zoom into a fractal. The thing I was curious about is if this fractal was in the training set, maybe it would learn to actually zoom in correctly. But no, it looks completely different than a real zoom into this kind of fractal. And it even starting to add leaves and some, some natural patterns uh, that the AI was trained on. And by the way, if you are asking why am I stopping and not just continuing to zoom in infinitely, um, it's because I can't control what is the, in the center of the screen. And if the center is boring, then there isn't gonna be anything if we'll just zoom in more. I actually might revisit this idea in the future and make an app where you can just like interact with an image and just choose where you zoom in. But currently it's only in the center. But for now, just because it was so cool, let's do another fractal zoom to a slightly different location in the fractal. A 
find it so cool that it transitioned into such a natural scene. From a certain point, all the details are gonna be 100% imagined, like those ropes. We can see that if we just zoom in again on the same image, the next time it's gonna make this kind of uh, pasta potato chips. Now, because I can't guarantee it would zoom to the middle, I need to find stuff that I know have sort of infinite detail. And something that always looked fascinating to me, to look really, really up close, is moss. It looks like a whole jungle on a rock. So I want to see what would the model do if I just give it a random picture of a moss. I find it so cool how every frame just makes sense. It doesn't look weird, but somehow a moss on a rock transitions in a way that really makes sense into a tree. I also found this kind of moss and I guess it's made out of really tiny yellow flowers. And apparently those flowers are also made of a fabric of some sort. Another thing I thought would be cool to look at up close is a fly. So I just found a random picture of a fly and we can see some beautiful detail when we zoom up close, both in the glitter of the armor, I don't know how to call it, the shell, and the hairs that are extremely sharp and detailed. And yeah, I think, I think it's pretty cool and uh, the face is maintained really, really well. And just to remind you, this is how this image would look without the AI. Before we proceed with the video, I just want to tell you that I make other videos and, and because I'm a small YouTuber, there is a very small chance YouTube would recommend it to you. So if you like zooming into images, I would highly recommend this video where I zoom out of famous paintings infinitely. I think I'm gonna keep this video short, so make the future good and remember to press the like button and subscribe if you like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.